Renaissance project way back when. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to say that uh, this turn of events is really an affront to the legacy of Herb Gray, and that's too bad. So long as this community remains without an overall vision, we'll continue to lurch from crisis to crisis and putting out waste paper basket fires at every opportunity. This community needs leadership and a vision that encompasses the arts as well as everything else that involves this community. We have to work together if we're going to avoid this type of crisis in the future. And here we are facing a crisis of magnitude that uh, is incomprehensible for most of us because this art and cultural hub for the city of Windsor cannot be lost and it should have been saved years ago. Thank you very much. Would you uh, commit to funding it if you were mayor? There, there's absolutely no question that uh, this is an important enough initiative and years ago we, uh, we together with the federal government funded the rehabilitation of a very decrepit old building. It's a beautiful gem now, and it deserves the support of the City of Windsor. What can be done to stop the serial albacities? At this time, the City must go forward and unfortunately negotiate in a crisis situation for the uh, savings of this asset. Uh, this is something that should have been done years ago. It should have been done in uh, conjunction with the arts community. And uh, unfortunately, now another reactive situation to another crisis. And uh, as I said, it's just because of the lack of an overall vision, and it's something that we have to change if we're going to go forward in a, in a positive direction with this community. Thank you. Any questions? Anybody else to ask? You say, uh, the maestro wanted to say something. Um, I'm not sure. Maestro is down here. He might want to talk to you individually. I don't know if he wants to make a uh, 